Uh, is it on? Yeah. <clears throat> um, so this is uh, a presentation that is, uh, was prepared by Sebastian Turns and myself. And uh, first of all, the scope of the fact sheet um, is, uh, I think, a little bit more brief than the previous one. So it is about uh, what is the value of information, um, an overview where we can expect a positive value of information in application, and then, of course, the appraisal and um, ideas for uh, further progress in this area where we need to improve and uh, uh, hope for more contributions. So a general value of information is probably already uh, known by all of you is um, the difference between two benefits we might realize in a system. One system, B0 in this uh, diagram by uh, Faber, Turns and, and Val uh, from the last uh, workshop in Copenhagen, is a benefit that was realized without a structural health monitoring system, and value B is the value or the benefit realized with a structural health monitoring system. And the difference of these two is then the overall value of information we can gather with the structural health monitoring system. This is uh, part of a decision process, so that means um, those two values uh, or benefits, B1 and B0, um, should be the maximum you can achieve. Oh, sorry. Um, application areas. Um, this is mainly based on an IRIS working document, I think 580 by uh, Helmut Wenzel. Um, this uh, has five main topics or uh, five main categories. First of all, optimization of structures and portfolio of structures. Um, a very important one is service life extension, as uh, Mr. Wenzel already introduced uh, in his own uh, keynote presentation. Um, then we have Utilization modification, for example, a uh, road bridge that is uh, facing increasing traffic or um, a maybe repowering of a uh, wind energy turbine. Then we have damage progression monitoring or maybe better called now uh, performance uh, changes. Um, so, for example, in a structure, uh, known damages like uh, a crack might be monitored to uh, get a clear view of the uh, performance the structure is still delivering. Then we have uh, the second part as code making and code calibration. Um, so here the uh, information we can gain is very valuable to reduce uncertainties and uh, improve the design codes. That means um, maybe a reduction in construction and design costs for uh, future structures. Uh, the third point would be then a early damage warning or again a maybe a reduction in uh, structural performance. Um, so the uh, system can help to improve um, rehabilitation and uh, inspection planning. Uh, the fourth point, structure prototype development and design by testing. Um, so if a new structure, a uh, probably new, completely new type of structure is developed, uh, the prototype might be equipped with uh, monitoring systems that um, give valuable information about the performance and of course uh, also the, uh, this will improve the design uh, in a optimization process to uh, more efficiently design the structure in the uh, finished product. And of course, uh, whereas we can improve the design of a structural system by employing, employing a structural health monitoring system, we can of course also uh, use SHM prototype systems um, to optimize uh, SHM systems themselves. Then there are um, two further points listed that are um, relatively young and uh, not so well uh, developed at the moment. One of them is uh, resilience of structures. Uh, this is something uh, Daniel Hofney talked about uh, during the first uh, cost workshop. And uh, then also, of course, retrofitting of SHM to historical buildings, um, where especially uh, uncertainties are large due to the fact that uh, these buildings might not be uh, 
built to any known design code and uh, large uncertainties are involved in these. Um, some major challenges uh, for structural health monitoring and uh, its value of information are first of all, as often mentioned, the computational efforts. The large amount of information that is gathered has to be analyzed and uh, put into decision systems, uh, decision support systems to uh, finally uh, get the value of information. Um, then the assessment and modeling of ACHM triggered actions. Um, here it is important, of course, that the right decision is uh, derived from, from the information that is uh, provided by the monitoring system. Then uh, probabilistic models um, in general uh, are uh, to be refined. So uh, the model for the measurement system, the model for the structural system itself um, have a high influence, of course, on the value that is in the end uh, calculated. And then the decision support or the decision process is uh, a major topic. Um, if the decision support system is well um, developed and, and efficient, then also the uh, decision that might be supported by the uh, gained information is uh, straightforward and, and useful if there is uh, a lack of uh, uh, or a, a big lack in the decision support system, then uh, this will also, of course, uh, negatively influence the value of information. Um, well, uh, a big issue for value of information in general is that uh, this field is an engineering um, very uh, costly uh, covered in, many, uh, uh, in the context of many systems. So it is uh, not systematically and consistently quantified for, for many applications. And um, the decision support systems connected with them are also often not very well established or, or well defined. There are also um, some, some uh, um, so far hardly realized potentials, especially for um, new SHM systems where the uh, developers and researchers in that area uh, might not be aware of the value of information to assess their, their um, structural health monitoring system or, or new technology uh, beforehand to see what the real potential or the, the potential um, benefit is their system might realize for their um, clients and their research. And uh, thus the cost action should, of course, um, try to spread the knowledge about value of information through um, researching and uh, other kinds of, or through education, other kinds of dissemination. So, thank you. Oh, thank you, Philippe. Um, now there is some uh, change in uh, the program of this session. So, uh, 